Rodrigo? Uh, sir? That's evidence. What? And waste the good stuff? And here comes intelligence, like clockwork, sniffing around as usual. What's the reason this time? Senior Constable Juan Arias at your... My name is Alex Van Camp. My brother Brandon and I are field agents of the SCP Foundation. This police investigation isn't why we came here, though. Our base oversees a small area, so we check into every suspicious murder. Needless to say, most of the incidents are a waste of our time. Hmm, could actually be our department. <sighs> Don't count on it. This wasn't a murder. He fell off the ride and broke his neck. He came to paint graffiti with that can that's sticking out of your pocket, Constable. That's senior Constable to you. Yes, anyone can become Constable these days. Come on, Brandon. Looks like another waste of time. I didn't mean to... <laughs> uh, kids, right? Always giving us headaches. Uh, take mine, for instance. Uh, they want a sandbox. Where am I supposed to get sand? Might as well get it from here, huh? Uh, we'll probably need a shovel, though. <laughs> Can't believe how much this place has changed. It used to be so much fun. Not the way I remember it. Ah, oh, come on. I had a killer birthday here. I got to first base with Nancy Miller right over there. You done reminiscing? <laughs> Don't ever change, Alex. Let's go. We need to file the report. Nothing abnormal, sir. Again. In the morning, we received disturbing news. Just outside the city to the northwest, workers were building a new IKEA store and lived nearby in temporary trailers with their families. Every individual except for a single woman with her child were found dead. The foundation wasn't about to ignore this incident. I don't know, Brandon. I feel like we're wasting our time again. Ten bucks says some drunkard had too much and killed everyone off. I'm sure this time will be different. Look there. Miss Simone the Weasel Cruz is already here. I ordered them to load up the bodies while you were on your way. They all had their necks snapped. Any fingerprints? Not a single one. Survivors in the trailer was about to question her. Better leave that to us. But I'm the one who... I'm sorry, you were saying intern? I am not an intern anymore. <coughs> Nellie Mitchell? Uh, my name is Brandon Van Camp, and uh, this here is Alex. We came to ask about what happened. <laughs> it was like a horror movie! A sculpture! Oh god! A damn concrete sculpture! <laughs> Sobbing, Miss Mitchell told us a stone sculpture showed up in the trailer park in the middle of the night and killed everyone. Why do you think it spared you? How am I supposed to know? We just... it's horrible! You don't believe me, do you? We... we'll find out what did this. Nellie's testimony could still be useful, so no anesthetic for her yet. I didn't really believe her story, but it was worth checking out. We didn't find any evidence of the trailer, so the only place left to search was the construction site. Simone, you're in charge. The rest, follow me. While I was looking around near the entrance, Brandon and the squad went deeper into the building. I was certain there wouldn't be anything abnormal here and that we'd be leaving soon. And suddenly, what the? Brandon! Brandon! Answer me, damn it! What? Uh, I don't. Brandon! Damn it! My God! They were butchered. Brandon! Where are you? Alex! I'm over here! Shit! Right there! Just don't blink! 
Shit! Hurry up! I can't hold much longer! What? Okay, okay, I'm looking! Now, could you explain what the hell is going on here? Uh, Jesus! The thing comes to life when you're not looking at it. Moves fast as hell, too. Like lightning. It took down the entire crew. I'm calling for backup. While waiting for reinforcements, my brother and I took turns watching the sculpture. My eyes were watering from fatigue, and the creature's awful stench wasn't helping at all. It seemed like we were going to be there forever. Finally! We delivered the object to containment, taking all necessary precautions. Brandon and I were completely exhausted, but the job wasn't over yet. <sighs> you look like shit. <laughs> I'll get you some coffee. <sighs> all right. What's with the picture? Tech issues. They'll fix it soon. We're ready, Reggie. Let him in. We decided to see whether or not the sculpture would attack a blind subject. This had to be the fastest experiment in all my years of service. I told you! Fast! Like a freaking lightning bolt! Killed him right in front of our eyes, and we didn't even see it. What's that puddle? Reggie? Yes. Get to, no, three, class D's in that cell. Have them take samples of that stuff on the floor. Just instruct them properly. Two of them must maintain eye contact with the object at all times. On it. The lab quickly determined that the reddish brown puddle in the cell was blood mixed with excrement. How could that stuff come out of a sculpture? I don't even know where to start. I gotta get some sleep. You've gotta be kidding me! Brandon, what's going on? The guard heard a noise coming from the sculpture's container and opened the lid. We have no camera feed from surveillance due to a malfunction. Uh, an idiot. The object snapped the guard's neck, but he managed to shoot a piece of it off. You gotta see this. Looks like there's a damn person inside. We took the sculpture to be x-rayed. It's unreal. There was somebody's body trapped inside. Now it's clear where the blood and that stench came from. Ah, oh, God, it stinks. We need to identify the body. I bet he's our anomalous object. We smashed the sculpture and extracted the male body. It was pretty banged up. The body was sent for DNA testing and the pieces of concrete were to be incinerated. I wanted to get a nap in, but Simone told me they'd identified the body. A man named Norman Mitchell. Here's the kicker. The husband of the only survivor, Nellie Mitchell. I had to go back to the trailer park and have a chat with the lady. Why are you asking me about my husband? Yeah, Norman works at this construction site. So what? It's his fault we got stuck in this hole. He hasn't been back here for a couple of days. Aren't you worried? That bastard's always hanging around other women and partying. Fucker will sober up and come crawling back home at some point. Where are you taking this? To the incinerator? They're the pieces of the anomalous object. Careful with the incinerator, Brennan. 3,000 degrees is no joke. Uh, thanks for the tip, Reggie. Mind your own business. Hell. Uh, let's get this over with. Jeez, it's hot. What? Shit! Shit! No! 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 Brandon, you all right? Shit! After talking with her, it became clear that Norman was an ordinary person without supernatural abilities, except for his drinking problem and visits with promiscuous women. So what made the sculpture with the poor guy inside move? Thank you, Miss Mitchell. Alex here. Alex, this is Simone Cruz. We have an emergency here. The sculpture seems to have escaped. What do you mean? We smashed it to pieces. That's not all. I don't know how to tell you, but your brother? I'm on my way. What do we know? He's gone. 
Brandon was here when it happened. Take a look. God damn it! So it was the material the sculpture was made of all along. The object killed the guard too, then killed three more and escaped? That's not an object. That is my brother. I'm so sorry, Alex. Damn it, Brandon. I knew something like this could happen to us. But why did it have to be you? It's all over. I have no one left now. Brandon was my only family, and I would have done anything it takes to get him back. But then I remembered Nellie Mitchell and her little kid. Why didn't the sculpture hurt them? That's when it hit me. Holy shit, this better work. Simone, did you do the autopsy on Norman Mitchell's body? Alex, chill out. The case was assigned to other agents. What was the cause of death? He suffocated. Concrete dust has gotten into his lungs, but it didn't immediately clog the alveoli. He was still alive and breathing through the concrete for, uh, about five hours. That's why the sculpture didn't hurt his wife and kid! We can still save Brandon! He's alive! I gathered a squad and began searching for my brother. But where could he go? Norman was hiding inside the sculpture at a construction site, as if he was looking for a safe place. And then... <laughs> can't believe how much this place has changed. It used to be so much fun. Not the way I remember it. Ah, come on. I had a killer birthday here. I got to first base with Nancy Miller right over there. You done reminiscing? Everyone, get in. I think I know where to find it. We need to hurry. We don't have much time. Please be alive. Remember, maintain eye contact. Don't turn your eyes away from it. The sculpture won't do anything unless you let it. Shit. The park is too big. We might not make it. It was a risky move, but I had no choice. I ordered the soldiers to split up and sweep the area. Less than 15 minutes later, I heard gunfire. No, no! Cease fire! You're firing at a friendly! Capture the object, but don't hurt him! I was right. Brandon was here, but it wasn't going to be easy to stop the sculpture. Brandon? Hang on, man. I'll get you out of there. Ah, you idiot! Turn off the light! Damn it! Stay alert. There it is! Shit! Watch out! Kravitz! Stevenson! Do you copy? I must be the only one left. Just me and that damn sculpture. Brandon, please. You have to still be alive. Brandon! It's me, Alex. Brandon, I, I know you're in there. Stop! Can you hear me? The dust was making my eyes watery, and I could barely hold them open. Might as well have put lit matches in them. How long have I been awake? If I blink again, I'm done for. No, no! Remember! Remember your birthday in the park! You didn't want to leave! Brandon! But I must have been too late. My brother was gone. That means I had no choice. What happened here? And who the hell are these people? Sir, we have guests again. Officer Arius? And who are you supposed to be? That's none of your concern. There was a potential deadly virus leak here. You need to get vaccinated immediately. 
Sir, is this even legal? Yeah, is this even legal? All right, get the bodies. Don't forget about the pieces of Object 173. We need to quarantine them in Area 19. Who knows what else this creature is capable of? Alex, Brandon, it's been an honor working with you. What are we doing here? I don't remember. Wait, hold on. Sir, I think you said you wanted to get some sand? Oh, damn. You're right. I promised my kid a sandbox. So, why are you here? What, you, you think I can't handle some simple task of my own? Like I need backup or something? Well, don't just stand there, slackers. Make yourself useful already. Come on, didn't I make that sandbox like you wanted? Go play over there. Rodrigo? <laughs> 